Welcome to the Vegas Life channel. Today we're going to talk about five things you need to know this summer if you're going to travel to Las Vegas. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Vegas Life vlogs. If you're new here and you wouldn't mind, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and hit that bell next to it so you can be notified every time we post a new vlog. Today we're talking about five things you need to know in Vegas if you're going to go this summer and visit. All right, the number one thing I'm sure everybody is wondering or wanting to know, masks. What's going on with masks? If you do or do not know, the governor has issued a mandatory mask order for the state of Nevada that also includes the city of Las Vegas. Though they feel like they're separated from everybody else and I feel like maybe they should be, they are not and we do fall under his mandates. Here's what you need to know about masks. Masks are required in all buildings as well as all public open spaces, closed spaces, pretty much anywhere that you can't socially distance at least six feet. Uh, obviously that doesn't mean you're home, but apparently the way they're writing it, it's everywhere else. Now, these businesses that are requiring it do have the right to ask you to leave if they want. Additionally, they will be fined if you are in the store and aren't wearing your mask. You, however, will not be fined at this time for not wearing a mask. Additionally, if you have a medical condition, you do apparently need a doctor's note. I don't know. Sounds like maybe that's the way to go with that. Uh, I guess if they ask you, you can just tell them it's HIPAA and you can't wear it. I don't know. That's your choice. Either way, it says if you have a medical condition that's made worse by the mask, you don't have to wear it. Additionally, if you're under the age of nine, you do not have to wear a mask. And if you're eating or drinking, you do not have to wear a mask. So that's important because what's Vegas about? Eating and drinking. Number two, hotel closures. At this time, the vast majority of hotels are open, including almost every hotel on the Strip. In fact, the only ones I could find that weren't open are the two Fiesta hotels. There's one in Henderson and there's one in Las Vegas. Both of them are still closed. Texas Station is gonna remain closed and the Palms is gonna remain closed. They said they're trying to decide what they wanna do, looking at how tourism comes back, pay, money, whatever. Nevertheless, those ones are closed. Additionally, though it's not closed, the Silverton has discontinued their Mermaid show. If you don't know what that is, make sure you click the link up above. I think it's either this side or this side and I'll put that up there where we did a video in the Bass Pro Shops over to the Silverton Casino and they have the cool big old aquarium they have a mermaid that comes down and they dance around stuff it's really cool but they won't be doing it so you'll have to watch my video <laughs> number three parking so if you're a Vegas local, you know that there has been some back and forth and some hiccups and issues with parking. For a while there, they were giving free parking for Vegas locals. Hell, for a while there, they were giving free parking for everybody. But they've taken, they took all that away before this whole Corona thing happened and they were charging everybody for parking. In fact, I am elderly enough that I remember when valet was free. Now you have to pay for valet. It used to just be, they would valet it because they're happier at the casino. You give them some money for a tip and you'd be good to go. But the valet is running, you have to be wearing your mask. Parking at the vast majority of casinos is free at this time. However, you will want to check with your specific casino or hotel where you're staying to make sure that self-parking is still free. It used to be like $20 a day, but they are trying to get people back, so for the most part, it is free. Number four, general casino information you're going to need to know. If you are a fan of the tables, you'll need to know that several of the casinos are having plastic partitions between you, the dealer, and sometimes you and the people next to you. They are still giving out chips, which is how you play table games. They are still doing cards, but they are going to be rotating those out a lot more so they can keep them clean. Additionally, the dealer is going to be wearing a mask as well as gloves. Uh, at the places where they do not have the partitions up, you are going to have to wear your mask as well. Now, some of the casinos are using thermal cameras at the entrances to scan you and make sure you don't have a fever. I think a hundred and point 100.3, 100.1, something like that. You'll have, to, you'll have to check it out. But I believe that's the temperature they're kind of going for with Corona. Nevertheless, some of the casinos, I don't know which one specifically, there are quite a few of them on the strip that are having the thermal cameras every time you walk in and they're going to be scanning you. So if you have a fever, good luck, I guess. At this time, most of the hotels are doing 50 or 75% max capacity, meaning they are not filling all of their rooms. However, with tourism being down, majorly it's not really an issue but nevertheless just in case you want to book ahead of time and make sure that you have a room reserved and last and most importantly I feel as a man of girth uh, the buffets lucky you came on I tell you that that stuff 
the buffets are closed at this time. Uh, I know Vegas is pretty much about buffets and is known for its buffets, but right now they are all closed. There are still restaurants open, but they have to figure out how to do the buffets and how to sanitize and all that stuff. So unfortunately, if you're coming here for the buffets, not. And number five, the last one on the list, but not the least, they are still winning. Las Vegas local has over 800,000 reasons to smile tonight. People are still winning big payouts, winning the jackpots. It's what is happening. I have some information. No, I'm joking. I hear rumors that they are loosening up the slots. They're trying to get more winners, so more people want to play, more people want to come. I don't know if it's true. It's a theory. A lot of gamblers have theories like that. Nevertheless, there are lots of winners still. If you look at the news there locally, you'll see that people are still winning. So don't be afraid to go gamble. Maybe win, maybe lose. Uh, just a side note, this is not on the list. Uber, Lyft, taxis, all still running. Uh, the buses are also running. You will have to wear masks. They have a limited service, but everything is still open. There's no roadblocks, there's no checkpoints, nothing like that. And you can go explore the strip to your heart's desire. All right, there you have it. The five things you need to know before you travel to Vegas this summer. Before you click away, do me a favor, hit that subscribe real quick, hit the bell next to it so you get notified. And as always, like, subscribe, follow. We'll see you soon.